Hello, this is Sheldon from Club Card. Today I wanted to briefly go over how to create a business card with proper separations in order to achieve a spot UV varnish. As well, this technique can be used to create a separation for foil stamping. We're going to be going over this today within Illustrator. I'm going to open my business card artwork, which we have prepared print ready based on our specs in a previous tutorial. We can see within this document I do have crop marks indicating trim line at three and a half by two inch. As well, I have included document guides which uh, clearly show me where my safe area is, where my trim line is, and in this case we do have the document bounds extending to include the image area including bleed, which is 3.75 by 2.25. Currently, all the elements are living on this one layer. Uh, it's indicated layer one, while the crop marks are living on another layer called crop marks. Layer one, I have this outlined type, 100% cyan, as well I have a raster-based image, CMYK, which is embedded in the document. I'm gonna just rename this layer CMYK. That's clear. Now I'm going to bring in another element here that I want to use for the spot UV. I'm going to create a new layer. Let's call it spot UV. I will copy and paste the clip card symbol into my document onto the spot UV layer. And I'm going to use my guides here to ensure I'm not too close to the trim. I don't want this symbol trimmed into in this case, so I will keep it a full one eighth inch away from the trim line. So I do want this uh, symbol to be used to indicate the spot UV varnish. As well, I want uh, the spot UV to show up over this URL, which will also be printed. I'll grab this element, I will duplicate it here move the uh, copy into the spot UV layer, leaving the original copy in the CMYK layer. I'm going to turn off the CMYK layer here for a second, just to show you what we have on our spot UV. We have these two vector elements. Um, in order to indicate the separation, we should be applying these elements uh, as 100% black ink only. Now these elements are filled black ink only, 100% K. Well, we have our CMYK elements remaining on the CMYK layer. This is a simple separation that we have created. Now from here, it's just a matter of saving out our print ready PDF documents. I'm going to begin with the spot UV layer. I'll turn the spot UV layer on, turn the CMYK layer off. Again, these elements, black ink only. Let's go ahead and save as. I'm going to call this B card spot UV. So it's very clear what my intentions are for this file. Print ready PDF. It's important to note in this case, I do have white extending to the edge uh, of this particular document uh, on my spot UV layer. Because of this, Without the crop marks, I may not have a clear indication of the positioning or location of the elements relative to the document format edge. In order to include these crop marks, which are landing outside of my document bounds, I will have to just extend the bleed area on this document. Let's use uh, 3 eighths of an inch. That'll be enough to include those crops. And let's save as. Okay, I will come back to my layer stack. I will turn off the spot UV layer. I will turn back on the CMYK layer. And I will save as um, B card CMYK as a print ready PDF. Now, in this instance, I know I do have a, a raster based bitmap image in the background. I'm going to want to make sure that 
Uh, I'm not experiencing any unexpected downsampling there. As well, it's worthwhile using um, either no compression at all or choosing a lossless compression such as zip. Let's leave it as zip in this case. And again, we do need to include a little bit extra document uh, to include our crop marks that fall outside of the document bounds. And this has, uh, this save as Adobe PDF dialog has retained these settings from my very last save as. So that will be included. So I'll save that out. From here, let's take a look at the PDFs which I've just created. I will open both the Bcard CMYK as well as Bcard Spot UV within Adobe Acrobat Pro just to take a look at what I've created. Here we have Bcard Spot UV. Clearly it's the black ink only documents with indication of trim. So these documents are here relative to the format edge. I'll know exactly where these documents belong relative to the edge of the card. The other PDF we created was Bcard CMYK and I can see this does include the CMYK elements to be uh, used in printing full color. You could supply these two PDFs simply zipped into one compressed folder. Uh, alternatively, you could combine the PDFs into one multi-page PDF, a single PDF. I'm going to add the other open files here. So now I have both these files that I have open within Acrobat. I'm going to combine them. And let's save this as bcard press. Here we have our bcard press PDF. We see it does contain two pages. First page, spot UV or foil stamp. Second page, CMYK elements to be printed. We see that uh, our cyan URL here will be printed as well. We will be applying the spot UV varnish over top of those printed inks. It's important to note in this case where you do have uh, elements within close registration of one another, although these are lined up identically in the same position, we can expect the position of the printing relative to the position of the foil stamping or uh, spot UV varnish, this will shift. Usually this tolerance is plus or minus about 1 16th of an inch. You can expect those elements in the final printed product not to line up exactly. Uh, there's just no way to actually achieve that. Feel free to check out further tutorials at clubcard.tv. Thanks very much.